Hello everyone. You are watching scardia.com and I am Dr. Hamad Adar. Today our topic is the tibial and fibula fractures. We will be discussing the fractures related to the tibia which is a shin bone. Tibial, we will be discussing the tibial plateau fractures involving the medial lateral tibial condyles. We will be discussing briefly in, uh, as well the Schatzker classification which is actually there for the proximal tibial fractures. Then we will be discussing the, as you know, the tibia is actually divided into proximal one-third, middle one-third and distal one-third. We will be discussing the middle as well as the distal one-third tibial shaft fractures, which may involve the fibula as well, or there may be an isolated tibial fracture as well. We'll then we will be off, uh, briefly discussing the open fractures as well. First, we will be discussing the Sherrin's classification for closed fractures, which in, does not involve uh, the open fractures. Then we will be discussing the Gustito classification, which is usually more commonly uh, sought after up for the open fractures. As you know, it's the tibia is kind of a bone which is more prone to fractures, especially the, during the motor vehicle accidents and trauma. And it is the bone which is most often represents with the open fracture. As it is very much subcutaneous, especially the anterior part of the tibia, therefore there is very high chances of having an open tibial fractures. And then in the last, we're discussing the isolated tibial fractures as well, which is usually common in children, was resulting in a fall from a certain small heights, or there may be associated uh, injuries during running and playing, which may be leading to isolated tibial shaft fractures. Then lastly, we'll be coming up to the tibial stress fractures, which is very common, especially in the case of army personnel, those who are athletes when they are undergoing extensive training programs before their running and their competitions, there is always a chance they may have a tibial stress fractures and they may complain of pain with normal x-rays and usually this results in a tibial stress fracture which is due to their excessive training which may occur. If you want to watch more videos, keep watching skydia.com and if you want to go for other orthopedic surgeries, other topics as well, they are very much available as well as on the skydia.com. Keep watching skydia.com. Thank you very much.